All right, guys, we'll get rolling. Um, let's get moving heel. Um, it is cool that we're getting started. We got some Facebook lead trainings that we're going to do today and we're really just more than anything over the phone sales training. Um, it's one of those things. I got some of my guys on here and a girl from the Levin Tovich team on here as well. Um, but we've been, uh, but we've been out there doing a lot of these over the phone sales and learning a lot over the last week. Um, and it's one of those things that Andy asked us to reach out and kind of go over with you guys some of the things that we found and that has been helping us get more sales and different sales. And it's one of those things, it's, it's, it's extremely exciting time right now in the Alliance um, with all the stuff that's going on. So it gives us an opportunity to kind of expand in what we're doing and go out there and do it. Just the, the opportunity is so much bigger. So we have the craziness of what's going on in the world going on out there, but we at the same time, we have the the um, ability internally here to control what we control and have crazy opportunity. Um, um, just unbelievable. I was actually talking to Chris long before we got on this and we're just talking about other things that we could do over the phone and different types of products and stuff. And just the, the way Andy has opened things up to us to, to be prepared when something like this happens where you can't, it gets harder and harder to get inside people's houses and it's, it's harder and harder to go out and make sales. He's opened it up and, and our carriers have opened it up to where we can go out there and continue to make a living. And, and the crazy thing is it's, it's opened us up to run more appointments, work harder, work more hours, do all this kind of stuff and really just explode our business. So I have some of the guys on here um, off our team that's been doing this for the last week and I, I kind of want them to share a few things. I got some notes that I'm going to talk about that we've been talking about. I've been just stealing all their ideas and making a list of them. So um, it will make me sound smart if I took credit for all of it, but it's really just stealing their stuff and I've just been writing it down. Um, but I, it's one of these things, guys, it's, it's, it's where um, there's so much money to where we're at right now in this business and, and the ability to, to get out there and be able to sell over the phone and still be able to make a living for our families. And at the number that we can do it is important. But some of the things I'll tell you that these guys have gone through is it, it was new. And all these guys in their own right are great sales guys inside the Alliance, um, inside the home, following the Alliance system, you know, booking appointments, going out to the house, doing the ATM, making sales, making a lot of sales. Um, and when they started this, they all got punched in the face a little bit and were like, what's what in the world? This doesn't work. This is, and what we've done is, is the Alliance family all across the Alliance family, not even, not even just the people on this call. Uh, we've been communicating, talking about some of the things we've going through, some people, how they've overcome it. And, did it, and we've been just sharing information um, to really master this and get it down. And we continue to do that. That's the cool thing with the, this Alliance family is we continue to communicate and work with each other and um, kind of go through some things that we do. Um, so it, it's the going over the phone and just making the sales with uh, so many different cities being under lockdown. And Angela's here um, in Jacksonville with us, but she's been running, she's been running appointments the last week um, off her California leads that she gets every single week through the Alliance. Um, so I want her to share a little bit about kind of what she's been going through and kind of getting the results um, of making the phone sales here from Florida off the leads that she gets through the Alliance. So with that, I want to turn it over to Angela Manzo. Hi guys, um, thank you for having me on the call, Andy. Andy and Jane Albright, thank you for giving us this opportunity. Um, you know, I've been doing interviews all week and I keep hearing about people that are getting laid off from work. They're not able to work. They're um, having to file unemployment. So we are in a position to help families. We are so lucky and blessed that Andy and Jane have put together a system where we can still work. Now we've transitioned. It's a little bit different, but now we can transition to phone sales and sell in different states. So I'm able to be here in Florida because I have a non-resident license and I'm able to sell to my California um, leads, you know, in California. So the opportunity was huge before, but now it's just massive because we can sell all throughout the U.S. with our non-resident license. Um, so, you know, just to go over a couple things, um, you know, being able to dial and book appointments. Um, I was a little scared in the beginning because it's something new. I am great face to face. Um, but you know, it's something that I had to really, um, 
you know, fall on my face and get bloody over. Um, you know, I booked 32 appointments for this week, which is the most I've ever booked ever at the Alliance. Um, these were all telesale appointments all over the phone with my California leads. And the first three days was brutal. Um, I had booked 18 appointments over the three days and it was a mess. It was awful. Um, I had only booked, I had only sold two policies. Um, 10 of the appointments out of the 18 actually showed up for the phone interview and I was able to sell two, which gave me a thousand dollar AP. So not great, but there was, a, you have to think of it as you're a brand new agent and there's a learning curve. So you got to fall down, you got to get bloody. Um, but I think one of the biggest things that helped me was I was able to reach out to the other people that are doing it. Um, you know, part of um, Chris Long was here in the office making calls. Um, Nick and other people in the Alliance were all going out there together, failing together and talking to each other, figuring out what's working and what doesn't work. Um, you know, we had, I had a call with Mike Levitovich and our crew. Um, so we were able to, you know, bounce ideas off each other and figure out exactly what was working and what wasn't working. Um, and I think, you know, as I got to day three and four, implementing some of the things that we've discovered, you know, one of the big thing was I wasn't creating urgency. Um, for the first three days of appointments, I was talking about, you know, yes, we have to try and get you approved, but I wasn't stressing. It's the coronavirus, the insurance companies, they could change their guidelines at any time. Some aren't even taking applications. So creating that sense of urgency. Um, and, you know, a lot of Californians are scared because there, there's a shelter in place. There's tanks coming in to make sure people are sheltered in place. So they're not going anywhere. So I, you know, had to adjust and realize that I need to start stressing those things. Um, you know, we need to grandfather you in because insurance companies, you know, they could, you know, be taken, um, they could not be accepting applications, we might not be able to get you insured. So that was one of the biggest things and also being transparent. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to come to the hotspot here and we had um, Menachino, Paul Menachino sharing what he was doing um, and what was working for him and little things like letting the letting the client know this is new for us, you know, um, let's try FaceTime or Werby.com. That's an also a great thing that helped me. The face-to-face -face helped me, even though I couldn't go out physically and see them, um, the face-to-face -face helped because they could see you're a real person, you're just trying to help them, and, you know, you genuinely were trying to make sure that they were covered. So those were a couple big things that really um, helped me um, so overall, my numbers for the week, I had 32 appointments. Um, I talked to 19 of them and I sold six policies for $4,880. Not bad, but also, you know, I'm still learning. So I think by next, this whole week, I should be able to get up to 40 appointments and, you know, really crush it. And so just, just so thankful for everybody that's helped me. And I encourage you guys to get bloody, you know, reach out to us that are doing the telephone appointments and you just, you can only get better if you reach out and ask for that coaching. So thanks guys. Cool. Awesome, Angela. And um, if you guys look on, on band, Mike Levantovich posted earlier today um, an article from Barron's and it talks about the, the actual, um, what coronavirus is doing to the industry. And it talks about in there, it says industry experts say life insurance companies may institute stricter guidelines from underwriting. So it's talking about those things and creating the urgency to go out there and actually get the check while you're talking to them on the phone. Get the check when you're doing the, the webinar. Do, get the check from what they're doing because it could change tomorrow. It could change the next day with the, the industries and the, the companies can change it. And it's important to get that going as, as you go through there. Um, and there's been some other great tools out there too. Um, Mike actually also posted another thing. Um, it, it was, it, I, I've been sending it out all over the place, but it's, um, it's a Warren Buffett quote. It says, be fearful of others. Others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. So when people are fearful, be greedy. This is the time where a lot of people are fearful and it's the, the opportunity for us to go out there and make a ton of money and go out there and help a lot of people. Um, and with the, with the, the ability to do it over the phone and go out there and do it. You can run 30, 40, 50, 60 appointments a week 
and do stuff. So the next thing I want to bring on my good buddy Brian Rojas. He's he's putting together a game plan and he's he's going out there and doing stuff. He's out there. He's he's here in Florida, so he's taking. Um, these Facebook leads in Florida and at California at the same time, so he can add three more hours in his day and uh, and sell more and more. So, Brian, can you uh, unmute and turn your camera on, bud? So, guys, I am super excited of what's going on here in the Alliance. This season is amazing. Uh, we are definitely taking advantage of this whole coronavirus thing. Um, I am so glad um, that, that, Andy, you give me the opportunity to talk to these folks Andy Albright, thank you for the opportunity. So, yeah, um, this week has been a humbling week, <laughs> a great week. I've learned so much. Um, shout out to Chris Long, Blue Body, Nick, Joseph for helping me out. Um, we, we had bought 300 bucks worth of leads, and the first five contacts, Riddle, we um, – I got smashed in the face, man. I felt like I was in the ring with Mike Tyson. I got punched the hell out. And, man, I got to tell you, um, just hearing Chris Long's story, Chris Long, thank you so much, man, uh, because of your failures, bro. Uh, you, you just released a whole bunch of pressure, you know. Um, if somebody like you was going out there, man, and, and having these failures and, and not quitting, it, it warmed me up, man. If you can do it, and I said to myself, then I can do it too. So, um, Lua Body, thank you for the call that you did with Albright, bro. That phone script, as soon as I started using that thing, I started making sales. I mean, you just got to follow that thing to the T, and it it, it works. It works. And, and like y'all said, man, it's just a numbers thing. Um, the biggest thing for me is just pretty pretty much putting my, my pride and ego aside and and – just learning from people that are doing it. You know what I mean? Um, Tim Goat always talks about like what you already know keeps you from knowing from what you need to know. You know what I mean? And so like, for me, it's like learning from somebody like Nick, you know, who's, who's new in the field, bro. And he's killing it with these tele leads, man. It's insane. So things like that, man, it's just this whole coronavirus thing is leveling out the playing field for everybody, for everybody. And, um, and just, I, I encourage you, if you're somebody like me that can go out there and, and it should pay 20000 25000 but you're struggling with this, do me a favor, just ask for help. Ask for some help. Communicate. And these hard times, communication is the key. If you don't communicate, man, then you're going to start. But, like, if you reach out to your upline, man, or, or somebody that is killing it, I'm telling you, uh, it's just going to, right now, We've had 11 contacts, and since I've been using this script, man, I've sold about $3,400. The past five con four contacts have been sales. You know what I mean, Andy? So I'm pretty fired up. I'm on my third cup of coffee. All of my sales have been in the state of California, and I live in Florida, bro. So I'm just jacked up out of my mind, dude. I'm just jacked up right now. I can't wait. I'm just getting notifications right now that we <laughs> – we got more people that we need to call, so let's go, baby. That's crazy, Brian. I mean, it's one of those things that's when we did a call yesterday with some of the guys on our team talking about this. The guys like Brian and Chris and Lou and and David. Well, heck, David even dropped off the call yesterday because he had one come in <laughs> and wanted to sell it over the phone. So um, it's it's just that stuff that you you get it while it's hot. You get it, do it quick. Um, these Facebook leads come in like crazy. It's 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 yeah. calling them right away. It's it's doing these little little things. But it's one of those things that no matter how good I think, no matter how good of a salesperson you are with us. It's a little bit of a learning curve. I was talking to James Alora in, in Phoenix yesterday, and he was telling me the first couple of days he did it was tough, but then he wrote 5,000 yesterday. I think it's a similar thing to no matter um, what your skill level has been with us in the past on the sales side. It's just getting, it's getting out there, putting action in place, doing the do, practicing it, getting, getting the motion going. And then once you get that going, reaching out to someone, getting results different than what you're getting and get a little bit of coaching and figure out together and brainstorm. And this is one of those things that I think as a company, the, the way we communicate is going to help us tremendously just to grow this and become great at this very, very quickly. Um, just over the last few days, um, just the guys on this call, just our communication back and forth and, and brainstorming back and forth and doing these things. I've seen the numbers change. I mean, we're just on a, um, 
I just saw two new people that were on a call we did similar to this yesterday with our group that made their first Facebook sales today. It's, it's happening all over, but they're going through and they're failing quickly, getting the coaching and getting, getting changes, just like Brian just talked about what he did. So awesome, man. Awesome job, man, Brian. Um, I'm proud of you and keep it going, dude. Love all you, right. Love you. Let's get a Joseph KG. Can you, can you unmute real quick, buddy? Yeah. Can you hear me, Andy? Gotcha, bud. Yeah, so um, I'm definitely fired up, man. I'm excited. First, I want to um, – I'm super grateful, Andy, that just having the opportunity to share with everybody here. Um, and I, I was talking to my wife today, and I was thinking about how everybody's – they're worried, they're scared, they're wondering what they're going to do. But here at the Alliance, the leadership that we've created, instead of seeing a problem, we're finding solutions to that problem. We're out there, and we're just working hard. Um, we're, we've been excited. We've been fired up. Um, I know, like, Nick and I and Chris and I were talking – this is something that's brand new. And instead of like trying to figure it out, we're like, let's all go mess up. Um, and then watching someone like Chris Long, who just took at it full force and get, we were at his house today and he was giving us coaching back. Um, and it's, it's just exciting. It's, it's almost like kind of brought the team together. Um, we're all learning from each other. I know Nick and I were texting each other about our failures and Brian as well. And we're just talking about what we're not doing right so we can just get better. Um, and it's almost like what we've always talked about even going in the home. Um, I've even thought about the aspect of recruiting wise, it's almost easier to duplicate now um, because we're going out there to fail for other people. Um, so for that, I'm honestly grateful. Just the fact that Andy Albright and Jane Albright have created the leadership here, that even at a, in an area where a lot of people right now are scared, they're, they're talking about all the problems. And instead of us at the Alliance talking about problems, we're finding solutions and we're, we're going out there, we're making money. Um, when I first started, um, it was tough. I was booking so one, one advice, and, and I know we'll all like, kind of share what they learned, but I was booking the appointments a lot. Um, I started to book like four appointments the same day I got the lead in. And then because we were all talking and getting feedback, um, I remember Chris was sharing with me and Nick was sharing with me like, hey, it's better if you just call them right away because if you book the appointment, a lot of times we get no-showed. So immediately I was able to get that fixed. And I just started calling them and talking to them right away. And, it, and I was like, wow, this is great. And I made the first sale. Um, the numbers are I had, a, it was 11 people that I talked to. Um, some of my booked appointments. And then it was five applications for a total of 2031. Um, and again, it's not great. But just the fact of what we spent and what we're learning now, I'm excited to get the batch in again. Um, I know Lou was talking about it before. They're coming in. We're all like excited. We got this rejuvenation. Again, I, I've, I'm grateful that we just got a team like this around us right now that you can turn on the news and it's people are talking about fear and we're here right now talking about how we're about to attack this new area that we have. I'm um, talking about California leads and, and other things that we can do. Um, so for that, I'm, I'm honestly excited. I think a lot of times, sometimes we overthink when things happen. You know, this is something that's new. We're all used to meeting face to face. And I think we can use that over the phone. I've been using it. Um, a lot of times if I get, you know, kickbacks or rebuttals, I'm like, I know, listen, this is brand new for us too. Um, usually I'm used to meeting you guys face to face, but because of this, we want to make sure you guys are safe and taken care of. Um, we've been using the fact that the state of Florida wants us to keep working now that they're accepting applications. That's helped a lot. Um, so man, I'm, I'm honestly super excited. We're fired up. We're changing up our whole schedule this week to find out how many of these leads we can attack in different states. My wife, Heidi, and I were talking. She wants to start trying these. We're going to tag team them. Um, it's honestly just exciting. Um, the other thing, the last thing I'm going to say is I think a lot of times we, we try to find the answers before we can figure it out. Um, and one thing I realized about the leadership that we have here in our team with Chris and Lou, Brian, Nick, and Riddle is we just saw an opportunity, and, they, and we're all attacking it. We're doing the best we can. We're messing up like crazy, but we're, I think the one thing we'll keep hearing, we're all reaching out to each other. Um, Nick and I were talking about what we're learning together. Um, we're all learning from each other through our failures. And I think we're all going to grow better. Um, so I'm, I'm just excited for this opportunity, man. I think it's, it's a new avenue that we're, we're hitting right now. We haven't perfected it yet. I don't think we ever will. We're just going to continue to get better. And I kind of think that's the motto, but we always do. It's just we go out there, we fail as fast as possible, and then we just figure it out and we get better. So uh, I'm excited, man. I, I appreciate you kind of let me share. Hopefully if there's any feedback. If anybody needs anything, they can reach out to anybody out here and we'll be able to share our experiences with you guys. Awesome, Joseph. Glad you're getting out there, dude, and, and, and leading from the front and going out there and, and uh, getting better, man. I love hearing that. 
So um, just so you guys know, and we've had a lot of questions on, on that uh, script they're talking about that the Lua body and Chris Long and a bunch of guys just got together and we're working through um, that's been working really good for us. Um, I, Chris Long just posted it on band. So if you go on band and you want to see it, um, it's on there and, and just play with it, make it your own. But also you, there's a lot of things in there they put in there that, that just seems to work really well to get us going from there. So, um, um, but we'll keep rolling on. Nick, hey, Nick, can you unmute real quick, bud? Yeah. Can you hear me, Andy? I can hear you, man. Gotcha. So. Well, hey, buddy. Thanks for having me on the call. It's really an honor. And um, thanks for your leadership. Always setting the, setting the path. And, um, Thank right. you, bud. I was muted, so you couldn't hear me. <laughs> oh, okay. I got it. But, yeah, guys, like, the Facebook leads are crazy. I was just telling um, Riddle the other day, I don't think it's ever been this good. Um, the way the leads are written, the, as fast as you're getting them, the exclusivity of them, the price of them, it's, it, it's the craziest it's ever been. And then the fact that we could work all day long without leaving the house um, just saves you so much time and energy. Now, we do need to start. We still do need to try to see people. But as a second alternative, I never thought it would be this awesome. And um, I, I've been having a lot of success lately. Um, it was Friday. Um, me and Chris were in the office, and Lua Body was on the phone. Um, and he was saying that he went six for six. So we were like, what in the world? That's when we kind of figured out that Lou cracked the code before us. And um, what we found out is he was just booking. He was going in for the sale the first time that they answered. And um, before that, I booked 20 total appointments. Um, I only sat with three of them trying to book the appointments. So time definitely is not on your side. <laughs> um, but at, um, since then, my last eight, I've tried to sell on the first contact and we sold five. So five of the last eight since we switched over to the new technique of selling on the first contact. Um, and honestly, the only thing I would say is we bought 40 leads. Um, and, and when it was coming in, and I, I, the only thing I would say is that it might be better to buy like 200 one day and then 200 the next day. Because as I'm getting backed up on the phone, the emails are still coming in and I wasn't able to catch up. The leads started to get a little bit old and then it wasn't as successful. So I would always recommend getting an amount you can handle and then keeping them fresh because the fresher, if they're fresh, they're really, they're, they're crazy. I haven't seen anything like it ever and I'm just excited for the future. So you know? hey, hey, Nick, you shared something yesterday. You were sending a picture of like your, the, the activity book page or whatever that has your license and your pictures in it and stuff or the license number, right? Isn't that what you're doing? Yeah. So I was, um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a, I have a business card. It's got a, my, my license number, my, both of my phone numbers and our office address over in Jacksonville. And um, I'm sending that to them when I'm kind of doing the year financial picture page. Like I'm not showing them that page. I'm just going through it, height, weight, smoker status, um, making sure we're hitting all the points. I'm collecting all the information and then we're getting, we're making sure we get prices. I'm just giving them the prices right now over the phone. Like, hey, we could start, I'll just do bronze, silver, gold over the phone. I don't know if it's the best method. None of us really know. We're all just kind of trying stuff. That's, that's the fun thing about it is everybody else is out there failing and we can learn so much from them. And it's a lot cheaper to learn from their failures than making it yourself. Cool. That's something that we picked up. Um, awesome, and, Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I, I just found a lot more success sending the, when, when I send my information and then I send a picture of me and Taylor. It's a lot easier to get the bank account. Everything's smooth. And then I feel like the connections are just as good as in the home. That's what it feels like. So we're loving it. Cool, man. Well, awesome. Proud of you guys getting out there and battling and doing it and getting out there and doing stuff. And it's, it's awesome because with these Facebook leads, um, I, didn't, I don't know if we talked about it up front, but it, it's we're, what we're doing is we're taking them the entire state that the people are licensed in. So like Brian's taking them in all in Florida and all in California. Nick's taking it all in Florida. Joseph's taking it all in Florida. And then Lou and Chris are both taking them all in Florida. David's taking them in all in Nebraska. And the cool thing is Andy's worked out a great price with the, the Facebook um, lead guy to where in most states, they, if, you t if you're willing to take the entire state, he can do it for $10 a lead. So it gives you the ability that where you are, when you are, struggling or having some failures with it as long as you get that coaching quickly you'll turn around and you're still making money even though the, you know it's I, I like how all these guys are saying that the, they don't feel they're great at it yet but they're still making money and they're still doing things um and they're still uh and there's and they're still going out there and failing but getting better every week and they're excited for this week and the next week as we keep growing and doing different things from there so awesome job nick um so david my buddy david up in nebraska 
David is uh, one of those guys. I, I threw a bunch of leads at him. He's got two other buddies working up there, working the leads with him up there in Nebraska. And I just, I, when I heard about this and they were, they were starting to sell over the phone because they couldn't get in the houses. So I was like, hey, why don't I just throw a bunch of Facebook leads at them and do it? And then they called, he shoots me a text on Friday and says, hey, we just wrote 20 grand today. And I was like, what? And then I was like, we need to get him some more Facebook leads. So um, one of those things, but David, if you could just share a little bit of, because I know you guys have been doing a little bit longer um, over the last couple of weeks, been kind of slowly getting into it and a lot more this week when we opened up the whole state. Can you just share some of your guys' struggles and some of the things that you guys are doing of finding success um, on that side? You're muted. David, you're muted. Hey, sorry about All that. Right. Uh, you're good now. So, yeah, like I was like, like you were saying, we're nobody's really good at it yet. So we kind of like have been just like winging it at first and we kind of just kind of started seeing some traction from it. Um, with the new scripts, we're kind of we're just really excited about this week. Like we did 20 appointments between Friday and Saturday and we we were end up able between three of us were able to sell 11 of them. And so like we didn't before we were meet with people and we were trying to get them their quotes over the like not over the phone, like do it over email and try to get them to see them. And we kind of realized now if we just have them write them down, we can, we eliminate anything. Uh, they can see them right in front of us and then we can make them pick while we're on the phone with them. And that's like really changed the game for us. So, you know, this week I'm just super fired up tomorrow. We got phoning from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then we're running, like we got five meetings scheduled today for tomorrow. Uh, just can't really wait, honestly. Riddle, you're muted. Riddle, you're muted. Yeah, I can't hear you. Oh, good. Well, I just said the most powerful thing ever <laughs> that everyone just said. Um, but just so you guys know, David, David and um, Drew and, and Jack up there in Omaha are, are all brand new with us. And, um, you know, their sales right now over the phone are higher than they ever were face-to-face. -face. Um, <laughs> not that they were doing terrible face-to-face, -face, but they're going through new struggles there. And now they're learning – the new struggles there. So it's exciting for our new guys too, where they can go out there and have success very quickly. Um, and just picking up these, these things. Cause it, there's, I just think when it's the one phone call, it's a shorter appointment, it's over the phone, it's getting rid of a lot of the nerves and a lot of the other things that a new agent has to do going into a house and helps them be, be successful very, very quickly with what we do. So it's, it's awesome, man. I, I love that you guys are getting out there. I love that you guys are going, I just love watching people go out there and fail and work through it and get better. And um, it's just one of those things. And all these guys on this call have, have kind of said that, and that that's what they're doing. And, and it's, it's really fun watching that um, and do it and, and continue to move through it and stuff. So, David, man, um, appreciate you guys going out there and fighting. Keep appreciating you going doing and, and doing what you guys do um, and continue to do that. And uh, looking for another big week out of you guys up there in Omaha yeah. this week. So Thank you, Andy. Thank you for awesome. everything. Awesome job. Hey, we got, I was talking to John um, over the Facebook lead guy. He's got a bunch more coming your way. So be ready for him. I, I, told, him this, I told him just keep sending them, not, not stop. So That's awesome. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. Now this is my next buddy, my buddy for like last 12, 13 years, Chris Long. Chris, can you uh, unmute there? I'm unmuted. I'm trying to start my video, brother. All right, cool. I think T will probably have to do it for me. But I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear you. Go I've ahead. Never, I've never been accused of not being able to talk. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's that otter in you. Man, I'm excited, dude. I haven't been this excited. I was actually talking, and it's funny because Patrick's uh, Patrick Connor's texting me right now, and we were talking earlier this week because he had some. Uh, he had a guy named Alan doing like a like a video type thing that I was able to catch. Somebody forwarded it to me, and it was like some real preliminary early early stuff. And um, it was just exciting. And we were both sharing. It's like, we haven't been this excited uh, about really almost anything, you know, like since we both got started. Uh, because I think we have such an opportunity uh, with this um, with this crazy, who, who would have thought a pandemic would have launched us into our whole next, like the next level of where we're going to take this company. Um, I wrote something down. It, it's crazy because like, when you think about it, like when you, you, you see, like there's a saying, and it's about you personally, but you don't really get to see the true you during good times. You only really get to see the true you when you meet adversity. And so as a company, many companies in the United States are meeting that adversity and a lot of them are faltering. And it's really cool that the Alliance is shining during this wave of diversity. And we're actually starting to figure out a way to thrive. 
And so, yeah, happy to share a couple of the things that I've learned over the last week. Um, it has been crazy. There has been some words that I've said that I can't say publicly. I've texted them to Albright and I was like, bro, <laughs> I mean, it's just been nuts. But um, it, it reminds me of something that I actually heard Fitz say once. There's something about having the smoke of battle on you that invigorates you. And this feels like that. This feels like how it felt. Like there's a country song, and, and, and uh, some of you guys know it. Uh, I, I don't know. My daughter likes this guy, but, and her boyfriend does. But it talks about, I there's a line that says, I wish I could learn to drive again. Because that feeling, the first time that you learn how to drive, it's like exhilarating. And in a lot of ways, this feels like that. This feels like I'm learning how to sell again for the first time. And it's bringing back emotions and feelings inside of me that I haven't felt in years. And so it's so exciting. I, you know, I'm so excited that we have this opportunity to shine like we are. And, and Andy mentioned this at the beginning, the unity it's created amongst the different teams across the whole United States. I mean, there's been no sense of cross line. There's no, I mean, it's just like one family, one team. And it's just been wide open communications. And I love the fact that we're all, everybody feels so new. And so it's and in a lot of ways, it resets the playing field for everybody. If you're brand new, you're at the same level as all of us getting started. And the crazy thing, and, I, and I'm, this is one of the things I'm real excited about, is you know working with some of these winners, and we'll get to hear from Lou in a second. Nick Griffin is right. We were in the office, like uh, blowing off some steam, playing some ping pong, and Andy was talking to Lou on the phone. And I'm like, just ask him what his numbers are, because we were all frustrated. I was like, what? And we're like, bro, we got to break this down. And he did. And so I was able to, I was talking to Noel Evan Toich, and she's like, we got to get this documented. You know, and so I said, Lou, let's get on the phone and I'll, I'll type, you talk. And we put together this script. And ever since we've published it, we've got, I've got a brand new couple just getting started in the business. They've maybe run two appointments live, like in a home. So far today, he's licensed in Illinois. They live in Jacksonville, Florida. They're up to three Facebook sales so far today using the script that we posted and just not deviating from it. And so what I'm really excited about as a manager this might be one of the most duplicatable success formulas we've ever seen. And so we just got to use it. And, 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 and it's cool because I love things that are more work, less skill, because anybody can work. And the cool thing is, what if you, you know, what if you can't leave the home because you're incapacitated? You can work. What if you have stay home kids and you can't leave because you're a mom? You can work. There's no, we, this is taking away all excuses and the fact that we can work, we keep saying we can work a state at a time. I'm working two states right now and I'm getting ready to turn on like some West Coast states so I can do it like Brian's doing. He's, he's killing me. Most of his sales are coming from a whole three, two other three time zones away from us. But it, it reminds me of how a lot of people built this business in the beginning. They would recruit on the East Coast. And then as it got later, they kept shifting over. Well, we can do that with sales now, which is incredible. Um, let me share real quick some of the numbers I had, then I'm going to turn it back over to you, Andy, because I know we got, uh, I really do want to hear from Lou, but um, it was a, it was bloody. <laughs> I got my nose bruised. Uh, let's see, start my video. Okay, I'm starting it. You get to see the craziness coming through now. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right, so, um, hey, Manzo. <laughs> All right, so um, I booked, um, I booked 22 appointments this week, and I was like, um, it was either Joseph or somebody else. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to kill this thing because they booked so easy. There's a reason for that. They're just getting you off the phone. I didn't realize it then. And so I'm like, dude, I, and I was all like getting ready to throw down. Me and Manzo were high-fiving in the office because we're getting ready to start a day. And then the whole day, it was like, it was just crickets because nobody would answer the phone. And it was like no-show city. So at, And so that was a big lesson because that's been a good chunk of change on getting all those appointments. But the challenge was, and the problem was, is that I called them and I booked them for a later time. That is, the, these, these things, these are not fine wine. You don't want to let them age. These things are more like Krispy Kreme donuts when the sign's on. You've got to get on them right then, okay? And so um, what, what's, what's cool, though, is I did, despite how bad my numbers were, I talked to four of the 22. So imagine that. Imagine driving your car to 22 appointments and only seeing four people. Well, the cool thing is I was able to do that from a phone. Sold three of the four, um, and I ended up with four applications for $2,500. So even though I spent a good chunk of change, I way more than made my money back and then some, and this was just an experimental week. And so the big takeaways from this are, you know, but the, the big thing is one, 
when you get them on the phone, use the script, use the Facebook script. I call it the fluid body script. Uh, we renamed it because we started having other contributors to it, but he was the one that kind of really gave birth to it there. Um, use that and just roll with it. And it's just, just remind yourself, this is a numbers game more than it ever has been. And so if you could just listen to the success stories that are here, think, think about how many people that have never done this before that are having success. That should be encouraging because that means this is extremely repeatable. So uh, with that, brother, I'm excited. I'm fired up. I'm so honored to be on the call with you. It's been, a, it's been a blast over the last almost 13 years now just hanging out with you and growing and laughing and sometimes crying, but all of it. It's been crazy. It's, this is what a crazy life that we get to live, and I'm just honored to be a part of it. Yeah, man. Awesome job. And I, I appreciate you just getting up there and, and do, working with these other guys and coming up with a way that we can get out there and have success very quickly with this. It's, it's amazing. Just, uh, you know, when I saw the, the people um, here, they come to the Jacksonville off, uh, Mike and Dave, when they posted their Illinois sales today on our chat, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's coming. It's coming. And it's, it's cool because it's almost like, and this, it's like they have an advantage because they didn't hadn't mastered the in-home sales part. So it's really easy for them to master this. Cause one, I think it's simpler process, but they didn't have to forget stuff too. And it was just like something like that. And um, watching you guys go through it, Chris, and you, you going through the 20 appointments and selling two or three, it's like how you had to you adjust and get beat up and they didn't have to really get beat up so much. Cause they just did what you told them to do after you got beat up. But it's cool how fast the new people can move with this. And, um, but it, it, and even the, the, the veterans can have success. It's just getting out there and making those small tweaks and nothing's really completely different than what you guys were doing. Otherwise, just small little tweaks and little things that you do there. Um, some of the things too, that, um, we've been talking about is, is these leads are created off Facebook. So you can get Facebook messenger and you can call them from that. It looks like a regular phone call from it. You can do videos with them off Facebook messenger. You can reach out to them, um, um, different things on there. Um, I love how you guys have started doing them immediately right over the phone as you got them on there, um, selling them right away um, and doing everything on the phone with them and moving through stuff. So it's just different stuff. But even when you guys do get into things, get one of the things that I think everyone's doing here and we had Paul Minichino, um FaceTime with us uh, the other day and train a bunch of our guys, what he was doing and stuff, get around the guys getting results off this stuff and, and getting success and start using the things they're doing. Like I know, Jay Krause used the, the whereby.com and they've had success doing the video chats off that. It's a, it's a lot like this Zoom meeting, but you don't have to do all the downloading stuff and the, the people to get on it. So those are working. There's so many different things and everyone is sharing their, their, their successes and different stuff and it, what works for you and works to do it. Make sure you're grabbing it and learning it and making the adjustments that you got to make to just have the success that you have because it is a, it's an unprecedented time that we can just go out there and just make so much money. And, and God knows how long this virus is going to stick around, how long we're going to have the chance to do this. So go get it now, get it quick and go out there and do this stuff. And um, one other thing that I, um, we were talking about here the other day is when you do have the person that does want to think about it and you're not able to do it, bam, fam, it still take the discipline of, of doing book a meeting from a meeting and send them the article like Mike Levantovich posted on band. And those things that talks about these things can change, like book it for like a couple hours hours out or five hours out or whatever, bam, fan that meeting to keep the, the idea moving. Don't wait a week to call them back because honestly, in a week, we don't know what the, if anything's going to change. So make sure you have that stuff in your arsenal. Make sure you have it so you can text blast it out to your clients. Make sure you can use those things to reel them back in and get them of the importance of it because it's important to them. That's why they were on Facebook doing it. And there's these little things that these guys are doing to make sure that they're getting the sales and stuff quickly through the, through these aspects. So. Um, with that, I want to move on to our next guy, uh, my good buddy, Lou Abadi. Hey, Lou, can you unmute and video, yes, bud? Can you hear me, buddy? I can hear you. I can't see you. That's uh, Tia's job now. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> so what's up, y'all? Actually, I can't hear you, Lou. Let me go to Amanda. I'm just joking. Ah, <laughs> I knew that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> um, thank you, number one. It is um, it's definitely an honor to be on here. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so I started, so last week we, I got leads in about 20 of them from this Facebook and I tried booking appointments like everybody else and got crushed and get one person after I booked them. And there's a saying that Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. And I got punched in the mouth last week. And then we got 20 more leads in on Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. 
And instead of booking appointments, I just started calling. Um, I got through to 10 or 11 people, sold the first eight. And all I'm doing now is, is when they, it says on the top, yes, I would like to know if I qualify. So I make sure I say the words qualify. I didn't say that with the first 20 last week. And they were very upset and didn't want to hang, didn't want to talk when they didn't hear that. So now I just say qualify and I say it two or three different times in my script and they, and they stay on the phone and they don't mind staying on the phone. Then I just get to know them. I talk to them. They have a favorite hobby they put down at the bottom. Who has woodworking? Who has car racing? Who plays spades? And I try to get to know them by their favorite hobby that they have down at the bottom. Um, I just want, just like we do in the home, we get to know them in the home. We talk about their pictures on the wall. We talk about their cars or their trees or their house or whatever it is. We don't have that here. So the only thing we have is their favorite hobby. And that's how I start the conversation with them. And I talk to them a few minutes about their favorite hobby. And I let them teach me. I never played spades. I never heard, I've heard of spades, but never played it. I had this guy teach me on the phone and sold them. So it's just a matter of just talking to them real quick and booking that appointment and doing it right then and there and just go on from there. Cool, man. It's been a, it's, it's a, it's a great ride. I love it. It is going to be fun. I, while we're sitting here on this call, I just got six in. I just want to hit end, see you later and get on these six calls right now. And we will wrap it up. So no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I won't do it. But it is crazy, Lou. It's like one of those things Andy had John um, with the Facebook leads on the other day. And Andy's like, hey, could we do a thousand in Texas? Could you do that many? Could you do this many in Florida? Could you do this many in North Carolina? And the best comment of that whole call was John said, you haven't said a number. It scares me yet. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. how many leads John can produce. Um, I'm excited just because how many people we can go out and see and how many appointments we can do every week. And just continue to do it. And I think it's important that we keep communicating as a company as we have over the last few days and continue to do it. I was getting a text from Paul Minichino just a minute, thanking for this, the, the advices that you guys have been given to him. And I'm like, dude, you're the one that started it with it, getting us going with it. We thank you for teaching us what you did early on. So it's, it's just awesome. And the more people that we have doing it, more people having successes, sharing what they're doing, the better we can refine this and continue to grow as a company and continue to just can absolutely just grab this. But um, guys, let's just keep going out there, keep battling as a company, keep working together the way we have been. Um, I love this team that Andy Albright's put together and, and the way we communicate and work together. And um, I'm excited over the, we'll see what happens this week with the Facebook and the continue selling over the phone stuff as we keep growing and, and evolving through all this stuff. So guys, I hope this helped. Um, we posted a bunch of stuff out there. Oh, Nick Griffin just also did text me too. He said um, that article that Mike Levantovich posted earlier today, he sent to one of his clients that he could not sell over the phone and they called back and he sold them over the phone. So that article, just by sending that article to his client that wanted to think about it, they called back and said, hey, yeah, let's do this now. So um, use these tools, guys. They're out there to help you get sales and stuff and keep coaching and getting around the guys that are getting results so you can get better at it. It's usually just small little, uh, small little changes to do, but make sure you keep doing it, guys. All right, guys, have a great rest of your Sunday, and let's kill it this week. Talk to you guys later.